Today's birthdays of people who have been dead. Would you uh, send that to the dry cleaners or would you sponge that? No, I, uh, um, I just used some Windex on it before I came out here. Some Windex? Uh -huh. Oh, you can stop at the street corner and a bum will come up and oh, no, no. wipe it off for you? Does <laughs> that, that ever happen? No, I, I polish myself. You polish yourself a little 409 maybe on a tough day? No. Okay. This is recycled later. They make a Rat Fink model building kits out of this. <laughs> you remember Rat Fink model oh, yeah. kits, yeah? yeah and, 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 and Lux, buddy, what, what's this? Uh, what do you got there? Uh, this is some stuff. These are uh, not so high heels and uh, I forget what this stuff is. Cire nylon, it's French. Now, how, when did you start dressing like this? Oh, gee, I don't know. I, when I was uh, eight years old, I used to dress up like Peter Pan. Oh, it was the same thing except green, and I had a dagger. <laughs> you still had a pixie cut. Do you feel that because you're musicians, you really don't grow up, you, you hang on to that youth? Yeah, it's one of the few things you can do where you don't have to grow up. You know. Now, how did you, how did you start this band together? How did, how did that come about? How do we do that? Well, we love rock and roll. We were collecting records together, um, going to concerts, seeing the New York Dolls and um, Alice Cooper. But we also started collecting rock and records, old records from the 50s, and uh, somehow crammed it all together and just decided we had to have our own band. We were sort of wrapped up in our own world. We didn't have people telling us that you can't do that or you're a fool. There's too many people doing that. So we just did it. No, uh, are. are you talking about New York City now? Um, we had the idea in Ohio, living in Ohio, before we came to New York. Athens? We're in uh, Ohio? No, Akron, Ohio. Akron, I'm sorry. Yeah. And all the rubber companies, where you fall down on the sidewalk and bounce back up. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's probably where you got the outfit, yeah. Akron. Um, now, was New York the only place you could go to? Was there a, any other musical scene it happening? It was the or? only place at that time, because every place else had bands like Silverwind and stuff like that, playing <laughs> Rolling Stones hits or something. Or, David Bowie hits or something. No, David Bowie was too new. All there was was CBGB's and Maxis in uh, the world. That's what I was going to ask you. Where did you start out? CBGB's, Maxis, Kansas, Kansas City? Kansas City, yeah. And what, what were some of the other groups happening around that time? What was the New York scene? The Dead Boys, the Ramones, television. Talking Heads were starting out. Talking yeah. Heads, Blondie. Blondie. They were all in the audience when we were playing, and when they were playing, we were in the audience. It was great. Now, do you, do you miss that kind of scene? Yeah. yeah. Well, what happened to it? I don't know. It went down the tubes. Rock, good last. rock and roll only seems the last yeah. couple of years, and then it fades away. And a few years later, it rears its ugly head again. Everybody it, gets concerned and worried, and d for um, good reason. Uh, you say it rears its ugly head. Are there groups out there? Is there a scene happening now, like a Maxis, Kansas City, or CBGBs? Do you see anything out there in any city that it has that same kind of flavor that uh, you guys came up with? Not that we know about. Unfortunately, no. There's, there's you know, phony trends, you know, like the Manchester scene, which is no scene, you know. There's, uh, you got your, your big business types trying to make this happen all over the place, but that's not the way it ever happens. You, know, you get some nasty little 15-year-old kids who make music in their garage, and that's the way it happens. They, they get tired of, of waiting for somebody else to do something for them, and they do it themselves. Uh, this is, but this is your fifth album? Fourth, fifth uh, album? It's very confusing. Yeah. The bravest hits albums and all this kind of weird stuff. So, so you, something like that. You do have to deal with uh, business, right? I yeah. mean, is this the way you go to a business meeting, Lux? Yeah, I think it cuts through a lot of red tape. Gets, <laughs> <it just stays. laughs> yeah. Because I, I heard your video. Uh, we're going to show a portion of it. This is a uh, creature from the Black Leather Lagoon. This was a uh, band from MTV. Uh, yeah, and from a lot of video outlets. Earth. Okay. It okay. kind of had everything that you're not supposed to have in the video. All right, well, I, first let's take a look at it, and we'll come back and talk about it. Here's uh, the creature from the Black Leather Lagoon, the Cramps. Let's watch. <laughs> Like a five on five down from the road Daddy made mama but she's 
the cramps, uh, the creature from the Black Leather Lagoon. I can't imagine why that was banned from MTV. It didn't look that bad. No, it's just good. You of didn't. Fun. You cut away before the part where she sits on my face. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jim, sorry. Can we roll that? Can we see that? Uh, maybe we can make a copy and put it in my office now. Uh, okay, they banned it from MTV. Uh -huh. If it shows on MTV, you'll, you'll sell more records, so you say, hey, we'll just cut out the sitting on the face part and, and put it on. I don't think there was a part that could be cut out of that. We tried there, to make it so that you couldn't cut out any yeah, parts. It's, well, it's got everything. Well, but uh, if, if uh, why wouldn't you go back and do another video? If, you know, videos are important to selling records. Well, we had other videos that were getting played, but that, that, was just, that one was just our video. It was our, 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 the mean yeah. streak coming out in us. Yeah. Now, you guys uh, uh, just went to Europe. You sold out in the European tour. Yeah. Do you find that uh, there are difference, uh, uh, differences in the audience between America and Europe? Are they more appreciative in Europe? Um, not as far as, you know, they, they act like it's Saturday night and they just got paid. But um, I think they do, oddly enough, understand the background of our music. They, Europeans seem to know more about American culture than Americans do. So they recognize the roots, you know, with the back, you know what's influencing our music. You know, whereas maybe Americans just judge it for the moment, in, and that's in, cool too. Yeah, in Greece, okay. there were some fans masturbating in the front row. Yeah, well, I hadn't seen so that. So that's in America. a little different from here. Yeah, yeah, it never happens here. No, no sometimes you see rock critics here with typewriters. Well, it's, it's, it's I guess a different thing. Yeah. yeah, it's masturbation in a different way, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you find that uh, there are, are, are cities you can go to in the United States that you know you, you come out and you know you're, you're a little different? Uh, that uh, you know they really don't appreciate it, or they're a little weird, or they're a little tense. Not at the gigs, but you know, going into truck stops on the way and all. Get you go, you go to truck stops like this? Well, yeah. Sometimes you know, down. We, we walked into one, sat down in a restaurant, and a cop came in and said, uh, uh, "You're leaving now." Like that. And uh, well, now, where was this? There were like all uh, kinds of cops Texas walking the door. somewhere. I think on the way to Lubbock. And he was saying that for our own good, for our own safety, that. We really ought to leave because every, everyone in the place was just immediately eyes on us, and it was yeah. We did intense. look around, and there were some very yeah. glaring glares coming our way at that time. It was very strange to be in a coffee shop and look around at a hundred people in there, and they're all looking at you <laughs> in, in Texas. So, what did you say to the cop? He said yes. yes. We, we were just bye leaving. bye. No. <laughs> you can tell me, Barry. Just left. came in to shine up the seat of our pants, and we're on the way again. How, how do you describe this music? I put the album on it. I, I would call it rock, maybe a little punk sound. I, you know, it's kind of a mix. Uh, Out there is just rock. A little rockabilly. It's rock and roll. Yeah. Ro influenced by rockabilly and blues, but you know that's rock and roll. I read on one of your albums you dedicated it to uh, Ricky Nelson. Yeah. Big yeah. Ricky, Ricky Nelson fans. Uh -huh. Now looking at you, I wouldn't guess that. I'm a, you know, I, I've always liked Ricky Nelson growing up with him as a kid. What about his music? Uh, did you find influential? He was one of the first people to do rockabilly, you know, uh, uh, that, that wasn't some out of control, uh, wild southern uh, hillbilly, uh, you know, crazed on some kind of drug or uh, um, alcohol or something like that. He was just a suburbanite, clean-cut kid that uh, uh, was uh, twisted by this music. And he'd go on TV and do this every week and uh, was twisting up the rest of suburbia that way. So it, it, it did, it brought dangerous rock and roll into family living rooms. You know, so that, that's an important step. Okay, well, listen, uh, good luck. We have some uh, tour dates. If you want to see the Cramps live, uh, whether you're in Texas or anywhere else, uh, here are some of the dates. They're going to be at City Gardens in Trenton, New Jersey, February 22nd. They're in uh, Providence, Rhode Island at Club Bayhead. And the Avalon Ballroom in Boston, Massachusetts, February 25th. And I, I understand you just got done finishing a gig in Baltimore. You met uh, one of your heroes down there? Oh yeah, John Waters. Came. John Waters. Yeah. yeah. What makes you? I I I can only guess why you like his work, but uh, what what about John Waters? Do you like? Well, he's way out there, yeah. and he's from Baltimore. It's a wonderful city. Makes you know. kinky movies. Do you ever have him uh, direct a video? No, yeah, I haven't worked with him. Why don't you give him a call? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, yeah it, it would just seem that way. Yeah. Anyway, kids, good luck. Okay. Thank you, sir. And if you hitchhike, switch outfits because you know in black it'll blend in with the night. Yeah. We'll be right back after this.